Yo, Kip Ace Guy here. Hey, so this is the Arzen Boom 3 projector. And this is not your ordinary projector. This is a $500 projector, currently on a 40% discount on Amazon. And this thing packs a punch inside HDR10. I think up over 100 inch screen possibilities, 3D sound with 36 watt speakers built inside, Netflix, YouTube license. So you actually have it built in into the projector, which a lot of projectors don't have. A lot of projectors who have built-in apps, you can't even use Netflix or whatever because it isn't licensed. This is, plus it has tons of other apps. So I'm gonna open this up to you. They have sent this out to me for review and I've never heard of Arizon before, but so far, so good as far as the packaging and the features I see. So from the eye test, we have a really nice package in front of us. They did send this out to for me for review. Thank you to them for doing that. I am in no way entitled to say anything good. I will be honest with you guys, of course. So opening the box here, it's really cool because they have some words and some text inside. It's always nice when you have some little hidden Easter eggs inside. And on the top, you have some goodies. You have your HDMI cord. Now, this supports 4K, but it's a 1080p native projector. So it, it will not show you a 4K screen, but it'll support 4K HDR10. You do have the remote up front. Let's see what's on here. So it looks like we have a volume up and down, a mute button, home button, settings button, dedicated Netflix, YouTube, and Prime video buttons as well. So we have a nice, pretty useful remote here. And then on the back says, scan me. I'm sure that's how we can you know, get tutorial videos on how to set this up. Also on the top here was some literature. It looks like we have an owner's manual, user's manual, how to connect via Bluetooth, which you can do that. Frequency, frequently asked questions. And then you have a, a warranty card here. You get two plus one year warranty here. So if you register, I'm sure you get that extra two years. It's really nice. And then of course the power cord. Now for the goodies inside, let's pull out the styrofoam. It is very well packaged. I have no doubt that it'll make it to its destination unharmed. Let's see if I can get this out without dropping everything. All right, move this box on out of the way. And so let's take a look here. So of course we're packaged in plastic to help keep everything protected. So this projector has the ability to be mounted if you want it to be, so you can mount it to the ceiling. And you can also put it on a tripod if you just want to point it straight forward. It does have auto keystone, so it'll see your screen and shift to make sure that it is a straight uh, per perpendicular image. This also has um, autofocus as well, so you don't have to try to dial it in. It'll also do that. So kind of at first, this is a really nice projector. Speaker grill on the front, comes in in gray, plenty of ventilation. It looks like we have a, don't know if that comes through on the microphone there. We have a tactile uh, rotation here. Not sure if that's for the volume or not, but they do say that you can use this as a 3D stereo speaker. So it looks like you might have dedicated volume. Maybe you can use this as a Bluetooth speaker. Some protection on the top. And then we have our lens on the front as well as our IR blaster. On the back side are all our connections. We have two USB inputs and two HDMI inputs as well. Power and um, a power button on the back. And then there's another IR blaster on the back side. So depending on how you have this facing, actually, I think this is your IR blaster and this probably is your keystone and your focus so that you guys can see. So it can see what you see and it adjusts accordingly. So I guess what we need to do is take this to the home theater room and get it plugged up. What do you think? All right, guys, we are in the theater and we have the Arzen Boom 3 on the stand here. And I'd say my room is probably 13 feet deep, so it's probably maybe over a foot and a half of distance between the back wall and the Arzen. And you guys can see that I'm filling up completely 103 inch screen. It's actually bigger than this and I had to minimize it down. Um, so it can probably do about 120, maybe 110 inches of clear picture. Now to speak on clear picture, the first thing that you do when you hook up and plug it up, it goes through setup. Get your Wi-Fi in, put your Netflix in if you'd like to, but it also starts your auto keystone correction and your auto focus. And it does a really good job. Now I have to go and kind of fix just a little bit the keystone. It wasn't completely correct, but it does a really good job actually. And I was pretty impressed. It wasn't much of an adjustment to do. So this brightness here 
is not bad. I have a light on, obviously, and you guys can clearly see the screen. It looks really vivid in daytime. Or I won't say daytime, it's nighttime outside, but I do have that light on, and I can clearly see everything. I'll flip the light off just so you can see the difference in the two, but it's a clear image. You definitely can watch this with lights on or if a little bit of sunlight coming through. So I'm gonna hit the home button on the remote here, and this is the home screen of the Ours and Boom 3 itself. So you have Netflix, YouTube, and other apps you want downloaded right here from the beginning. So you don't have to really download it. It, it looks like um, an Android TV kind of interface you get with like Sony and things like that. It's not bad. So there's Netflix up here already, apps already pre-downloaded. You can add more, and then you have YouTube. If you have it set up, if you have um, your account in you can have it all right there in the home screen so i have a fire stick hooked up to it right now and i love it because i can just plug it up to the back and use the supplied usb for power so that's really nice to see and i'm actually using the stock remote to control my fire stick because it does have cec so you can control your devices with this so if you're using it in a home theater like this it can control it here's your audio let's go max volume Captain Marvel is in her house. Is Captain Marvel pressuring you in any way? Marvel's Mega PG-13, now streaming, only on Disney+. So that's actually really loud. I haven't listened to it yet, but they have two um, speakers on the back here and then a, a passive radiator, basically like a subwoofer almost inside. So it has a really clear sound. That's pretty loud, to be honest with you. So if you want to use this as your audio source, you can. I'm going to turn it back on real quick. Let's see if we can hear something else really fast. See what it sounds like. It actually sounds pretty good. How? How do you choose? How do you choose the ones you save? He's coming for you with everything. So you do have sound modes as well that you can play with. You can kind of tailor it to how you like. So that really sounds pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and put on um, a movie or something so we can see its true picture quality. And then we'll give you the full dots of this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and give my thoughts on this projector. First off, I love the way it sounds. It's a really compact cube, really, that sounds really good and gets plenty loud. I do wish that the speakers weren't behind the, the projector, but maybe on the side, or even if they could figure out how to keep them more towards the front, just because this is going to be behind you more than likely, and you're going to want everything to be in front of you. Yes, you can use it at like a 3D Bluetooth speaker if you want to, but most people are going to have it like this where you're sitting in front of it and having the sound come not only behind you, but also firing behind you kind of makes it a little bit harder to hear, maybe a little bit muffled, but it does get loud, but you get a more cleaner, more direct sound if you can have it behind you. What they're hoping you do is mount it close to a wall so that that sound bounces back to you and that's how you get that 3D sound. But if you're gonna have it in an open area, it's pretty much useless to have it back there. So depending on your application, you may or may not like that. Now speaking of sound as well, I don't know if you guys can hear the fans, it takes air through one side and blows it out through the other, which is that side there, and you can clearly hear it. I mean, it's not like completely distracting, but it is decently loud. I can hear it from where I'm standing over the movie. So if you're gonna be sitting close to this, you will hear that fan, so you can definitely keep that in mind as well. I didn't see anything in the settings to turn up or down the fan speed, so I think it is what it is. So let's talk about what we care about the most, which is the picture quality. So again, 1080p, but it accepts a 4K input. I have a Fire Stick here, this is the 4K Max, so it can give me an input of 4K if I set it to do that. Um, but as you guys can see, it's not the brightest, but it can definitely be watched in you know a dimly lit room like this. Anytime you watch it in the daytime, you're gonna struggle to see. Um, but picture quality wise, you do have some options to change like you know color and brightness, contrast, um, things like that, sharpness, picture modes, warm, cool, whatever. But Nothing truly looks good, to be very honest with you. Although this is 1080p, I know 1080p is kind of a thing of the past, 
Um, it still looks more like 720 in my opinion, just because of how poor of the configuration do you have in the settings. Yes, you can change all those things, but they don't really do enough for you. For example, this is the best that I can get it to look. And unfortunately, I need a little more color, but if I add more color, it makes things look too orange. And if I take away too much color, it really goes to black and white pretty quickly. And then it's very warm. Even though I have it on standard mode, it's really warm. If I put it to cool, it's way too cold. So you have settings to change the picture, but truly I wish I had more because it doesn't look as good as I wish. But like I said, there are some really good things about this projector. I love that it has auto keystone correction and auto focus because that's a really hard thing for a lot of people to get correct, especially if you're gonna be mounting this on the ceiling or something like that. It's really nice that it has the ability to help you like that. The remote's really good too. It has all the functions you need on the remote so you don't have to go hunting through the menus, but it is a very finicky and overly plastic remote. Even the buttons sound you know, tinny and like they would break over a while. They may last forever, but it sounds cheap. And this is not that cheap of a projector. This thing comes in at retail $500. Right now it's on a discount. So you expect a little bit more quality, but it's just a remote. So maybe I'm just nitpicking. At the end of the day, I think this is a really good projector. If you're looking for something 1080p, kids room, if you're looking for something in the office at work so you guys can do PowerPoints, whatever, I think this is a really good projector. And again, it does have Bluetooth capability so that you can use it as a Bluetooth speaker. But if you're gonna put this in your dedicated home theater, I do think that you should look around because not for much more, you can get into 4K. You can get into 4K dedicated native or even e-shift projector so that you can get a better image. I do like that it has HDR10 so you can get a little bit more vibrancy out of your viewing, but Unfortunately, it's kind of hindered by the lack of ability to, you know, make it look better than it does. So overall, I'm going to give it a three and a half stars out of five. I do think it's good. I think it's solidly built. I think they're on the right track right now, but I would like to see maybe a higher model or maybe they do have a higher model where we can have 4K and, and, and maybe we can have more controls over the picture settings and things like that because I think that's what's holding it back is that this is probably as good of a picture as I'm going to get in this room and my room's not that big. So I have to say thank you again to Arzen for sending out their Boom 3. I will have it down below in the description box. There will be a link and a discount code as well if you guys wanna get a hands on your own. Again, it is a good projector, but don't expect to get mind blowing picture out of it. At the end of the day, it's under 500 right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and we will see you in the next video. Keep it guy out. Peace.